Hey guys, I just want to let you know the whole A Relic of Love arc is now complete and the full playlist is on the Nickrick Games channel. I highly recommend you guys go check this out if you guys love story driven, action, romance, all types of genres you'll be able to see in this arc. Me and the team worked extremely hard on it and we truly are proud of it. We think it's 10 times better than the last arc and that's our goal for each one. However, we really think that we are able to get even better with this one and I hope you guys show it the support it deserves. With that being said, thank you guys so much for checking it out and let's get on to the video. Sorry for that little uh, ad in the beginning, I just wanted to, um, you know, let you guys know that we uh, finished the brand new NRG arc and I genuinely think it's the best arc we have made yet. So I really hope you guys go check it out. Anyways, with that being said, hello guys, welcome back. It is Saturday once again, and SMG4 has blessed us with a brand new video. It actually looks like the SMG4 Theorist channel has gotten some recognition in the community because the new episode is an SMG4 Theory episode. So I'm actually really excited because like they've never done something like this before. So who knows, it may be good, maybe bad, but uh, one thing I do need to address... <laughs> My boy, Mr. Puzzles. I still love him, by the way. I don't hate him, guys. I don't hate Mr. Puzzles. I still love him. I'm aware that the last episode, uh, like last week's episode, I made a big oopsie. I thought it was a new voice actor because it sounded so different, but my dumbass didn't realize that Mario messed up his voice voice box. Same, same voice actor, it just the episode still sucked for me personally. Anyways, just wanted to clear that up. I understand, guys. I read your comments. No worries. Um, I'll be responding to them soon. I'm just trying to find the time with college and all that. But anyways, um, with that being said, let's get into today's video. <laughs> Axel better be back. <laughs> okay, here it is. Me and my boy Mr. Puzzles are ready. One last little self-promotion though. Be sure to go check out the YouTuber Tari Universe. I just voice act, she just posted today, um, a new episode where, uh, Mr. Puzzles is playing Doors. I voice act Mr. Puzzles in that, uh, video, so please go check it out. It would mean the world to me and also support her content. Please, she makes great stuff. But, yeah. <laughs> enough, enough of that. Let's get into this. SMG4 Theory is Mario dead. I don't know. You keep fucking retconning your own damn lore. I don't know. Like, it. SMG4 theory on this channel is actually kind of pointless now that I'm thinking about it. Anyways, you guys know the drill. Normal stuff. Link in the description, all that good shit. And let's do this in three, <laughs> one. Ah! Yeah, so Damn. Oh, yeah, Kaizo. I hate that fucking guy. Man, Molly should sure dies a lot in the SMG4 show, eh? Yeah, he does. I mean, it's to the point where there are full compilations of hundreds of deaths in the show. Yet, after every death, Molly always comes back alive and memeing. You already oh, know the geez. answer! Why the fuck are you making this? Let me ask you a question, folks. Have you ever considered that Mario might actually be dead? Well, he's not. He's right there. Totally alive, <laughs> all good. No questions about it. Case closed. But wait a second. What if there's oh. more going on here than at first glance? Ladies oh, shit. Let's dive a little deeper. Okay. Come to ask you for theory. A silly little idea where we discuss my silly little meme show. So let's get silly and talk about. Yeah, okay. I'm just letting you know there's a whole channel on SMG4 theories that actually are covering this shit that you refuse to talk about. I mean, this episode could have been one diving into what the fuck happened with Peach's Castle, but I mean, hey, let's waste another week. Yeah. I'm so what's the deal with this guy, huh? He sure does die a lot. Both in this show and in Nintendo games. He dies in many, many different ways. Getting poked by Goombas, getting stabbed, getting sucked into black holes. Oh, uh, yeah. Like this. Heard. You get the idea. Yet, even after so many deaths, he what always comes back. So, watch. what's the deal? Is he immune to dying? Is he some kind of weed psychopath who likes to die? Well, in the main games, he always screams like a maniac when dying. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So, I doubt he considers death an afternoon stroll. But what about an SMG4? Well, in Mario breaks the McDonald's ice cream machine, he holds his breath because he can't have ice cream. Dumb idiot. But this does yeah, prove that he can feel death and experience death. So it's not like he's doing it because he enjoys mm -hmm. it. For the most part. Okay. Now let's get serious for a moment. This does raise some questions about Mario. How does it's he Mr. Puzzles. Oh, no. Keep coming back. What's up with this one-up counter he always has? Is that his life force or is it souls that he consumed from other people? Something weird's going on. And for that matter, where does Mario go when he falls off the side of the world in Mario games? An alternate dimension? An abyss filled with hundreds of Mario corpses? And also, also, why does Mario have nipples in Super Mario Odyssey, huh? A lot of strange occurrences happening, folks. And have you considered... Oh. 
I go on like this for a while. Let's speed this up. Yeah, for real. In the SMG4 lore, which you should totally watch, by the way, Mario is the avatar of our universe. No, not that avatar. Essentially, he's the anchor of this. So they're actually acknowledging it. All right. Yeah, you know, when we found out that he was the avatar, you killed off your best fucking character. Here's a little comparison for all you nerds out there. Ever seen a little movie called Deadpool and Wolverine? Well, they totally copied us. In that movie, if the yeah. anchor being dies, the universe dies. Which we did first, by the way. So stop copying us, Marvel. <clears throat> Sorry, I got off track for a second there. Uh, if now he's been kicking the bucket all this time, how come I'm... You know what? I don't really think it's considered copying SMG4 when you refuse to fucking do anything else with it. You just made those movies and then... We got the lawsuit arc. And everyone loves that one. How come this world's still here? Is it a retcon? Is every episode a dream? Am yes. I a dream? Yes. Am I even real? No. It's fine. Okay, Sorry. existential crisis aside. <laughs> this logic also raises another question. Did this world exist before Mario was born? Or has Mario been here since the beginning of time? Well, in the game Yoshi's Island, we see baby Mario. Oh, baby you're Mario's explaining for your show. Okay. Before, before. So we can rule out the possibility of Mario being some immortal god. Sorry, Mario. Now, I know what you're thinking. Uh, if Mario isn't immortal, then how come the SV4 episode Super Caveman Bros exists? Well, if you haven't seen that episode. Which you should totally watch, by the way. Toad and I get sent <laughs> way back before Mario was even born. Which leads me to this. Ah, <laughs> uh, not this, not this. Cut, cut, cut. This is a prehistoric version of Mario. And the world's okay. still intact. This means Mario is a part of a long heritage of fat red Italian plumbers that go wahoo! He's just like the Avatar. You might think this is a bit far-fetched. Well, need right. more evidence? Well, if you go to this exact coordinate on Google Maps, you can find Mario. Looks normal, right? Well, if you go back in time. Yeah, it's rewind time. Oh. Damn. In 2009, it was a different <laughs> They're fucking... You know what? That's... A, they're stretching it, but I'm liking it. Mario's and different Avatars. Oh yeah, the oh, hotel jets are In the SMG4 show, every time Mario dies, he comes back as the exact copy-pasted dumbass Mario. No differences in appearance or personality. Yeah. How is this possible? Are they clones? Is Mario coming back to life? Are we pulling an MCU and doing multiverse sh well, Let's explore some options. There has to be some way Mario keeps worming his way back into the show. I know what you're thinking. One-ups? The double cherry power-up? Modern medicine? <laughs> <laughs> you really think Nintendo, one of the most successful companies in the world, isn't doing some shady deals? Something dark is hidden underneath it all. Okay. Like what? The I Mario don't know. Mario That's why I'm watching this. Maybe there's a hidden demon somewhere in the Mario world. Oh. Don't you dare diss that. I played the shit out of this level of Just Dance. Fuck off. Okay, on the surface level, it doesn't seem like there's any demons in a series like Mario. Really, the only real mention of any form of god comes from the Mario RPG games. And even though we have some gods and demons in SMG4 land... Eh. There's zero. You're gonna mention Axel? And none of them would ever grant someone like Mario immortality. But we're on the right track. All these points connect to the actual answer. Religion. That's right. Holy we're playing a bit of Super Mario religion here, folks. And today's lesson, Luigi. We all know Luigi. Sure, he's Mario's bro, but why does he spend his time sucking ghosts all day, huh? How is no, actually, he spends his time being the butt of every Mario joke in your show. Victim? Okay, maybe that isn't too shocking, but this does lead to a shocking conclusion. Luigi is evil and working with the ghosts. Maybe Don't that's believe why. me? I approve. Ever heard of these? These boards use Oja demonic boards? possession to talk to the dead. It may seem unrelated, but I've asked a data analyst expert to give us the proper pronunciation of this word. You know what? This is really stupid. I feel like I'm wasting Ouija. my time, but I'm... Um... Ouija boards, ladies and gentlemen. These boards were named after <laughs> yeah. Satan himself. but they're fun. Luigi. This is fun. View Luigi for yourself board. this incriminating footage of Luigi getting possessed. Luigi, how could you? Take it down. Now at this point, you might be asking yourself, How does this relate to Mario? Think about it. Luigi's a shy, timid brother. What well, Mario's the other? The Omni-Man. The Omni-Man. The two sides of a coin, yin and yang. So if Luigi is oh, the Mario has oh to my god, that image was cursed. Uh, okay, maybe he's not Jesus, but there is evidence to suggest a connection between Mario and Jesus in SMG4. If you watch Stupid Mario Arcade, this is like really well edited in terms of like to make it look like a uh, game theme. Very suspicious in the background. Enhance. You may notice a man dressed in white. That is Jesus. What's critical? Nice. And this isn't the only time we see them together. In Mario Does Pranks, we see Mario talking to Jesus in the afterlife. Jesus rose from the dead, so maybe he taught Mario how to resurrect. Mario and Jesus do seem to get along pretty well. For that matter, <laughs> in the meme games, we see Mario T-posing, and who Oh yeah, I forgot you remember the meme games. That's right, Jesus. 
And that's not all. In the very first Mario reacts in Nintendo means, Mario rises into the frame, just like Jesus rose from the dead. I'm thinking I'm back. Coincidence? Absolutely not. Mario is 100% connected <laughs> to the Bible, and not just in the SMG4 yeah. universe, but in the games too. In the games Boys too. Revelation 16, <laughs> and he, Jesus, had in his right hand seven stars. Oh, I'm sorry, which game has seven stars? That's right, Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. And that's not the only <laughs> reference to the Bible. In Super Mario 64, we see Mario flying around what looks to be heaven. Mario also teams up with an angel in Super Smash yeah. Bros. Brawl. But the most damning piece of evidence, folks, is this painting right here, The Last Supper. What you might not know is this painting is not completely... I swear, they fucking now, put Mario in here. I'm so, I swear, I swear, I'm done. Fully finished painting in hands. I fucking knew it! I knew it! I fucking but knew it! Away with it. Not while I'm on the case. With all Not of while I'm on the case. Facts, <laughs> without a doubt, the Mario yeah, has this is same funny. I like powers this. as Jesus. But is it possible that there's more to this story? Let's take a look at some hard facts. We Bro, I like it. It was just like fucking like roasting all the theory channels. But you know who else loves farms? Nintendo. This Even though they made their own shitty lore. lore. We call the September 13th Nintendo Direct 2022. Oh, Fawful show out a lot of farming simulators around here. Coincidence? Of course not. It was all planned. All those memes and jokes about Nintendo loving farms, it was all orchestrated by Jesus and the Big N. Don't believe me? Well, I snuck into the hideout and managed to leak this. Uh, Funky <laughs> mode. Aha, uh -huh, there! This sign <laughs> There we go. This proves Nintendo and Jesus struck a deal, and this deal has been going on for decades. Jeebus. Take a look at all these collabs Nintendo and Jesus have done over the years. Man, okay, I actually thought we were ge he was genuinely gonna explain some shit about his lore to, like, make it make more sense. Or to make things, like, kind of fit a little better. No. No. It's SMG4, what I was expecting. Cool adventures on the NES. Super Noah's they get kicked out of this shit, so. The bubble game on Game Boy Advance. Jesus appearing in Mario and Sonic. The Splatoon Church game. The official epic rap battle between Mario and Jesus. The list goes on. These two have been collabing for years, and I already know what you're about to say. Why would Nintendo go to such lengths to work with Jesus? Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> get your tin foil hats. This partnership is only the beginning. It's time to dive deeper. <laughs> Clearly, Nintendo's They're really something, diving deep. Something they don't want us to know about. And it all comes back so to Mario. This Nintendo is so fucking stupid. Want us to think Mario's super <laughs> awesome? Well, I'm not buying it. He's been arrested before in Super Mario Sunshine. But did you know this isn't the only time he's been arrested? He's also been arrested for trying to break into someone's house. But wait, there's more. He kills Yoshi, committed assault, tax fraud, participates in illegal gambling, stolen livers, pirated games, been on a hit and run, committed literal war crimes. Starting to second guess how cool this guy is? Well, this is only the tip of the iceberg. These crimes <laughs> extend outside of the games in SMG4. Check out this footage of Mario interacting with an innocent bystander. I love you, Sonic! I love you, Sonic! That is <laughs> wild! <laughs> Simply awful. And what happens after that? He gets arrested and it's shared on the news. The detainees include those dressed up as Minnie Mouse and even Super Mario. And you might be asking why you've never seen such highly classified info. The same reason why Mike gets away with all of his crimes. Where the fuck does he, he find these clips? Team, a bunch of dumb gorilla lawyers. In fact, that dummy created a wall to keep everything all kid friendly so they wouldn't get in trouble. Those damn gorilla lawyers. And yeah, the worst. Uh, you know what? Yeah, y I'm happy you at least know that that arc was your worst one. Believe it or not, that's not even Nintendo's most lethal force. But they only called in for things like... Are you ready? <laughs> that's right, the infamous Nintendo Ninjas. They're not a myth. Nintendo They're Ninjas. No Look at this very real security camera footage of Nintendo Ninjas jumping upon Nintendo fan. Oh, hey, Shroomy. And let's not forget that the Nintendo Ninjas destroyed my computer. Those apps destroyed my property. All I did was pirate a couple of games. All these years, we've been spoon-fed lies by Nintendo being this happy company that is for kids. Okay, I will say, uh, Nintendo is a scummy company, but... Mario's gonna do something I missed that episode. That was so good. I loved that one. All right. I know I've shown you a lot of earth-shattering evidence today, but let's review the facts. Earth-shattering Nintendo evidence. has omnipotent red Italian, Luigi is Satan. They made a business partnership with Jesus. They have a million soul goodmans and an army of ninjas and Mario keeps committing crimes time and time again with no repercussions. What does it all mean? What is this leading up to? I'll tell you. Absolutely. But you're not gonna like it. What I'm telling you is top secret. And I'm not just being over top the it. But I <laughs> the, the biggest scam <laughs> in human history. Nintendo is actually a cult. Oh shit. And you are all falling into that trap. 
Look at this follower shadowing the gospel of Mario. And that's not all. It's spreading into media, video games, movies, TV shows, toys, even cereal. All of these are intentionally designed around making you feel nostalgic, so you'll love Mario too! Look at how excited Nintendo followers are getting <laughs> over a skeleton! The symbol of death! It's the sign of the, <laughs> the end symbol time. of death. You might be asking, how can Nintendo get away with all of this? <laughs> Two words. Oh my Papa god. John's. And an <laughs> oh my Papa fucking John's god! <laughs> fucking dude! Calm down! Holy shit! Stay what tuned. the fuck am I watching? Reckon, we'll call. <laughs> Two words! Papa John's! Of course! But what does this mean? What does this have to do with Nintendo and Jesus? I'll tell you. Papa John's is a promoter of Nintendo products. They're in on it. And even before then, there was this. They were giving away Nintendo Wii's to customers. They were spreading the gospel of Nintendo this entire time. Which means... Enhance. Enhance. Just as I thought. And also... This my the fucking god! Oh, shit! The way partnership! And think about it. In the yes before episode, this has been. Paper, this has been a time. His true form, Satan. Oh, what's that? We already confirmed earlier that Luigi's Satan. Well, open your eyes. That can only mean one thing. Don't you see? Papa John was really Papa Luigi this entire time. It's all connected. Papa John sold his soul to Nintendo, and they merged. Now they're helping promote Nintendo. Their end goal: to rule the world. Don't you see? The day of reckoning has come. Mario's already taken to the streets, causing chaos and starting rallies <laughs> left and right. He's converting innocent bystanders over to his side. Not even pets. Are this safe. isn't even about SMG4 anymore. This is just a rant about, about, about Nintendo. Nintendo. So much. <laughs> oh my God! America's already fallen, and it's not stopping there. <laughs> Holy no. fuck! Nintendo has their sights set on something much bigger. <laughs> They're taking over the biggest event in the world: the Olympics. Listen to that crowd. No, those they followers did cheer before. for the almighty Mario to return right. to them. Now with all these indisputable facts, one final question remains. Is Mario dead? No, really, is he dead? I'm asking you. I kind of lost track where I was going with all of this. Is he dead? <laughs> Am I dead? Let me check my pulse. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. I'm dead. Oh, hey, Jesus. Oh my god, it's Jesus! I heard you were talking shit about me. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Damn. Oh man. I thought I was really onto something with that. But hey, that's just a theory. And that's a deep for theory. Ah! Yeah. Alright. Alright. Oh boy. Oh, okay, that fan art's really cute. That fan art's adorable. I love that. I'm gonna put you away, my good buddy of mine. Alright, so that was SMG4 Theory uh, Is Mario Dead? Or Mario is Dead. Um. I. F <laughs> it was really funny. It was really funny. And it's a new style of, um. SMG4 video. I hope it's not a regular thing, I will admit. I don't want them to waste your time on that. I just want the series. I'm more of a guy when it comes to lore and stuff. Those are the episodes I'm interested in when it's an actual episode and it's leading to something. Those are the episodes I adore. But, um, I also do like the when we can just go back and enjoy the funny. And, um, it definitely was better than last week's episode, so I will say, overall, this was fantastic. I think it was... I, the, the amount of, like, times where he's like... But then there's more. Like, like the Papa John's part killed me. It was amazing. It was so really funny. I really enjoyed this. Let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments below. And um, yeah, that's gonna do it for today's uh, reaction. Be sure to check out um, my brand new um, NRG episode. It's a finale of my current arc. You guys can watch the full playlist. It's on my channel. I really hope you guys do. Me and the team worked super hard on it. It would mean the world to us if you guys could, would go check it out. Truly. And thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for watching my videos and just being here and letting me know. I just And please, leave any type of comment you guys want. It makes my day reading them. Um, and yeah, that's going to do it. Uh, do it for today's video. <laughs> Alright, I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!